chattel slavery, the Nazi Holocaust, global genocide, and the bombings in Sri Lanka on Easter Sunday have in common. By dehumanizing the victims, these horrific acts become tolerable and unobjectionable. The plantation owner thought the African was not fully human. The Nazi thought the Jew was not human. One political faction thought the same of their rival faction. And terrorists believe Christians are were undeserving of life, so they murdered them on the day Christians celebrated the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Many make the argument that our American political system has taken the same approach to the unborn. Let me explain. After taking all of my children to see the movie Unplanned this weekend, we learned about the true underbelly of the murderous, government-funded, billion-dollar global corporation of Planned Parenthood. The movie was told from the life experience of a former clinic director, Abby Johnson. On September 26, 2009, Abby was asked to assist with an ultrasound-guided abortion where she watched in horror as a 13-week baby fought for and ultimately lost its life at the hand of an abortionist. After some 22,000 abortions as director of Planned Parenthood Clinic, she resigned and became an outspoken advocate for the pro-life movement. Abby physically witnessed what our American founders recognized and recorded in the Declaration of Independence, that all men are created equal. We are not born equal, we are created equal by our creator with certain unalienable rights, chiefly life. And we all know every human being is created in the womb of his or her mother. Benjamin Rush, a Declaration of Independence signer and medical doctor, stated that life's first motion is produced by the stimulus of the male seed upon the female ovum. No sooner is the female ovum thus set in motion and the fetus formed than the capacity of life is supported. In the Constitution, we find the framers securing and guaranteeing protection of all life in the Fifth Amendment. No person shall be deprived of life without due process of law. The Fourteenth Amendment also states, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. This applies to every living person, and we know abortion violates this right by killing babies before they're born, let alone before due process. John Locke, who highly influenced the Founders' views, extracted from the laws of nature and specified that individuals are Not to kill another man, not to know more women than one, not to procure abortion, not to expose their children, not to take from another what is his. The obvious truth Locke was asserting by stating abortion violates natural law was that abortion did, in fact, violate another human being's right to life. Abortion is the dehumanization of the unborn. It is murder. Abortion is un-American and illegal. Consequently, protecting, committing, funding, or participating in the act is criminal, period. Therefore, every elected official in America should repent of this evil they have allowed and fulfill their oath of office to protect the unborn because even unplanned life is still life. This is Jake McCauley. And Dominic McCauley. With the Institute on the Constitution, bringing you the, the American, American View. view.